Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Excel. In this module, I want to have a look at the PMT function and how that works or how well that can work with the data tables feature, which is part of a what if analysis. So on the screen, I've got three examples set up and at the top there, I've got some figures. So I've got a loan amount, just put that into pounds, a percentage interest rate, number of payments, and then the PMT function will work out what that is. So I basically have to pay 876 to pay that loan off over those periods. So if I just delete that for a second. So the PMT function is this equals PMT, open bracket, asks you for the rate. The rate is that cell. You need to divide the rate by 12, comma. Then it wants the number of payments, which is this cell, comma. Then it wants the the present value which is this cell close the bracket click the tick comes up with that figure now in each of these tables below i've created a formula which just links to that cell so i'll just color that one yellow so they're all the same so yellow yellow is linking to yellow yellow to yellow and yellow to yellow they're all linking so for you to use the data tables feature you do need to have that set up like this so what you're asking is this is a loan that i'm paying over 60 months what happens if i pay it over 30 months how much will i have to pay 60 will be the same then 90 120 and 240. so what we have to do before we can actually use data tables on on this example is this needs to move down a cell because the top left hand cell which i'll just color a different shade that pink cell has to be blank so this one needs to come across and then this one needs to be blank as well for this to work. And then what you can do is you just basically highlight this table. You go to what if data tables, it's asking you for a row input. So I've got these color coded green to green. So these figures 30, 60, 90, 120, 240 are going to swap places with this figure, which is going to have, a, have an impact on that amount, which will then be populated underneath each of these figures. So I just click onto this cell. I don't need to do this one. I haven't got a column input. Click OK. And it populates like so. And you can see that there. Now, if you want, you can make that into pounds. And once you've done this, you can change these figures. So if I put that to 70, it'll recalculate as you change these top figures. This is an array formula, so you don't really want to mess about with this. You need, to, if you've got older versions of Excel, you probably don't want to delete any of this. Delete the whole thing if you want, but not an individual cell. In the past, that's crashed Excel for me, but that's the row example. Column example, again, you've got this blank cell. You highlight the whole table. You do the same process, data tables. This time you do have a column input so column input is this one these percentages are going to move through there click ok and again they populate in there and you can change that to pounds so i've added the format money the symbol up here normally it would be on the home tab or format cells and again you can change the percentage and see the impact on that now to do it all together, you need to set it up like this and you don't need a blank cell. You don't need a space like this. You just need this cell, this yellow cell to have a formula in it that will link these two tables together, which it does. C5, C5. You highlight the whole table from that yellow cell and then you go to what if data table. Now you have one of each. Now you do have a row input cell, so it's green to green. So that is your row input cell. And your column input cell is this orange color percentages. And you click OK, it drops it in. You change that format to pounds or dollars, whatever currency you're using. And again, you can see the impact of that. So at the moment, I'm paying this 2% over 60 months, and it's costing me that, which is the same figure there. Look. And you can use conditional formatting on these to flag that up so you can see the impact of it. Now, if you pay over a longer period, you know, you can see how that 
is going to go down in terms of cost, but overall you're probably paying more. And it's up to you how you um, play around with this. If you want it to come down to a lower a lower period, the payments go up, obviously. And the more, percent, the more the percentage increases, the higher the payment will eventually be. So that's a quick look at the PMT function, how to get a payment figure for a loan. So it's quite a useful function for people who've got car loans or house loans and want to see how how an increase in payments would maybe affect the overall loan. And then a look at data tables in isolation, first of all, in format in rows or rows and then columns. And then lastly, both together like so. So that's all I want to talk about on this little session. So I'll see you on the next one. And thank you for your time.